Hey guys, this is Nehmu Sheikh and from last video I'm working on a video tutorial series of how to make an online store using Magento. In my last video I discussed how to download Magento package from Magento Connect and in this video I'll be discussing on how to install Magento package in, your, in our local server XAMPP. Okay, so I have downloaded Magento package and I have kept that folder on my desktop. You just need to copy this folder and you have to paste it out in your XAMPP folder inside Z, inside C drive. Once C, then click on XAMPP, then htdocs, and here I have already pasted out that folder Magento. I will rename it. And then store. Okay. Okay. Now we need to create a database for this. Uh, Magento package so that while installation all the databases uh, all the tables should get created inside that uh, inside that database okay so to create a database you have to go to your browser and type in 127.0.0.1 get slash php my admin okay, and click on database and create a database name as online store create click on create and once a database is created you need to set a user for that database and you need to assign some privileges to that user so this is our database and we need to click on this check privileges option and then click on add user we are adding a user for the database and here you need to type in the username username is online store and just copy this and select local host and then password set a password for your database And then here yeah, you need to click on check all that means I want to assign all the privileges to that user to access my database and now click on add user okay now uh, we have successfully created our user uh, our database and we have assigned a user to the database and now we need to go to our next browser and then slash our project name online store and then press enter okay uh, this is the installation process first step is agreement section and then check on this agreement and then click on continue and here also click on continue and select that here this is the database connection configuration our database is mysql in the port which is 7.0.0.1 slash okay then database name it will be our name of our database our database name is online store just copy this and paste it here and username you need to type in the same username and password that you had assigned to your database database just few minutes back so you just need to type in okay our username was same online store and you need to type in the password and table prefix So each and every of your table will get created with the name mah underscore as a prefix. And then click on save session data. I want to save my session data into my database and now click on next. And now it will take a few minutes. 
to go from configuration to create admin account which is our last stage okay now we are in our last and final step of creating an admin account and write in your first name last name then your email id and username admin and set a password and confirm password and this username and password um, will be required whenever you will be signing into your uh, backend okay once the installation gets completed and then I'll click on continue okay now go to front end and click on go to backend okay this is our front end and here we need to type in our username and password okay now click on login and this is our dashboard and your magento package uh, comes up with a default theme which is uh, which is a responsive theme rwd theme okay, whenever you install a fresh copy of magento then you will get uh, it will come up with a default theme uh, which looks exactly like this okay, the name of this theme is rwd is responsive theme and this is our dash this is our dashboard from here you can see there are a lot of options available as a menu and this is a message saying that we need to re-index our indexes now just click on this message click on index management and you need to check all and then select re-index data and then click on submit okay now our indexes are re-indexes now now this is how we can install Magento package in our local server Zen. Okay. I hope you like this video. If you um, if you got some useful information out for this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video where I will be discussing how to download sorry, how to download and install a theme from Magento Connect. Okay. All this time we have downloaded uh, Magento package and then we have discussed how to install that Magento package in our local server and in next step uh, what we will be downloading a theme and then installing that theme uh, in our uh, Magento package okay. so I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching guys